Hi there, it's Jamer01 here. Just a very quick video today. Uh, very impromptu, but I have had a problem with my 2004 Nissan Almera um, N16 generation, which is a 1.5 petrol engine, but the engine is relevant in this. The issue that I've had is that the immobiliser light that you can see flashing there in the middle has been occasionally more, and it was going more and more frequent, when I was turning the ignition on, that light would flash very quickly. Turn that off. It would flash very quickly for about three, four seconds, and then it would just go solid and it would stay on. Whilst that was on, I could not start the car. When you turn the key to the start position, it would not crank. The start mode would not engage at all. Turn the ignition off, turn it back on, the light would usually go out, car would crank, but it still wouldn't start, so there was no, obviously, cut off the fuel pump. Eventually, taking the key out, putting it back in, on, off, on, off, key out, key in, eventually it would start, and then it would be fine for about three weeks, and it would do it again. Today, however, it did it a few times in the one day, which prompted me to investigate it a bit more. I had a look, and there is another video on YouTube which shows a Primera P12 with the same issue and the man talks about fixing the issue. Um, so I thought, well, pretty much the same. The Primera P12 was about the same as the Almera N16. Same immobiliser system. So his solution I've tried and it seems to have worked. So the solution is to take off the cowl underneath steering wheel along the ignition steering column which is there <coughs> sorry I'm sitting in the car so I'm not going to great view but that's it there it's only held on by two screws there are four screw holes but the screw holes there don't have anything in them so don't worry there's nothing there just two screws take that off and then you've got the insulation again well no that's three screws three or four screws to hold that on and then it exposes the ignition barrel I will now show you the connector that you have to push in, pull down and remove, and then plug back in, and it would seem this does fix the issue. Let me just show you that. That is it there. Push in there, pull it down, and out. And hopefully it won't make me look stupid and it will work. Here we go. If this problem does come back again in the near future, I will update the video and let everyone know. But otherwise, I would say that this is a pretty good fix. Thanks for watching.